Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to roast a butternut squash. This is really easy and delicious. It's really healthy and butternut squash is pretty prevalent this time of year. So these are the ingredients that you're going to need to do this. Of course you'll need your butternut squash. You'll need some brown sugar, butter, salt, and pepper. You'll also need a baking pan and I've lined mine with this Reynolds nonstick aluminum foil that I like to use. To start making this recipe, I'm going to cut my butternut squash lengthwise. And to do this, you're going to need a really sharp knife and a cutting board and um, because this is pretty thick, so it takes a little work to get through it. So let's start that. You need to be careful not to cut yourself. Okay, there we go. You'll notice inside you have this little place where the seeds are. And what I do is I take a grapefruit spoon and it's got these little serrated sides on it and it's really easy to dig the seeds out. So that's why I use it. So I'm just going to start doing that. It's kind of like digging the seeds out of a pumpkin. I have a little bit of string and fibrous um, stuff in there too that you need to get out. Okay, so this is all cleaned out and we're putting them on our baking tray. Now, the first thing we're going to do is salt and pepper. And you just sprinkle that onto your taste. This is fresh ground pepper and now we're going to do salt. And then you're just going to take about a teaspoon of butter and put it inside the little uh, cavity of the butternut squash. And you can put a little bit here. That's just up to you. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is just sprinkle some brown sugar into the cavity over top the butter and all along the squash. It's just going to give it a little sweetness. And it'll caramelize on top and it'll make it taste really good. And that's also to taste, just whatever you um, would prefer. So what I'm going to do now is I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it or roast it for 25 to 30 minutes until it's really soft. Our roasted butternut squash is done, and I actually let this cook for 40 minutes. And the reason that I did that is it, it depends on the size of your butternut squash and how tender you want it. But I took a knife, and I put it in, and it goes all the way through. So that's an indication that it's done. So you'll just have to vary your cooking time according to the size of your butternut squash and if you want it softer or maybe just a little bit harder. So now I'm going to put it on a platter for you. You can use this method for other squashes too, like acorn squash and other squashes such as that. So, you can either serve the squash just like this, and you can use a spoon or a fork and eat it out of the um, shell, or you can cut it into chunks and you can uh, put it in a bowl, or you could even mash it. What I'm going to do with this squash is I'm going to make a curried butternut squash soup, which I'm going to show you in my next video. So. I hope you enjoy it. 